we'll watch the waiting room and make sure everybody gets in. So happy new year. Oh, I should have had a horn to blow. That would have been fun. That's in a horn. <laughs> my dog's barking. That would not be good. Right. Uh, right. Happy new year, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this tonight. Uh, we were just saying as we were coming in the room that um, this is much needed. I know for me, I, I need okay. to huddle with my pink girlfriend. So thank you guys for sharing this. 30 minutes with us. Yep. It's not going to be enough. I just know. <laughs> it has been a while. I, I hope and pray y'all had a wonderful Christmas. It was a crazy wonky year, but I tell you, you know, they say where this could be the year where, what was it? You, you could focus on all that you lost in the year, but really it could be a year where you focused on all that you have. And, um, that, that was, what I'm trying to do too. I think we can find the blessing in all of it and let's just pray 2021 is better. I saw that, did you guys see the joke that said, fasten your seatbelts, everybody. 2020 turned 21 and is going to start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so whew, let's hope it's, hope it's a good one. You know, what, with what we've handled over the last nine months or whatever it's been, 10 months, you know, I think we are learning how resilient we are and that, you know, if somebody would have given you this script or shown you this movie back in February of last year, you would have gone, no way, um, you know, no way that this could happen to us or this, you know, or we could, and it did. And we've handled it and we've handled it beautifully. And, and um, you know, I think we need to definitely uh, thank Mary Kay for just solidly increasing the information that they've given us on social media training and all of the new tools that they've given us and you know changing up the starter kit and giving us working live I was talking about I just joined that it's kind of it's it's, it's actually part of zoom but it's a way that you can learn to work virtually and they've got tons of great training and tips so I hope that um, that becomes one of the things that you focus on because honestly now is the time to focus on learning how to work your business virtually. And it will be, the, and we're going to talk about that too. It'll be one of the biggest blessings in your life if you focus on that aspect of your business. And hey, you know, you don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to set up. You don't have to tear down. You know, all you got to do is just get on and like we're doing now and bless other people and make them smile and then say, put that on, take that off, put that on, doesn't that feel good? And have some fun with it. That's what people need more than anything is some fun and some friends and um here comes cheryl again okay. so anyway um we've got a lot to cover tonight so i'm going to shut up about that because uh i think susan needs to talk and um just lift us up in prayer before we start our meeting i would be glad to so let's just whether you want to bow your head or just virtually hold my hand or whatever <laughs> heavenly father thank you so much for this time with this amazing group of women Teresa and I both feel so incredibly blessed um, to be a leader of leaders, and uh, this is an amazing group. Thank you, um, Father, for a uh, holiday season. I pray that it was healthy and filled with love and laughter and family uh, for all of these uh, wonderful gals. And as we wrap up 2020, which certainly had its challenges, Lord, you were still in control. So help us remember that, that... Um, you will use all things for good that we can uh, save the lessons from 2020 and throw the experiences away and move into 2021 even stronger and ready to um, move forward um, in this brand new year with a brand new attitude, new goals, and uh, stronger faith and friendships than ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Susan. That was beautiful. Thank you. And I just want to say hi to Debbie on there. Hi, cutie pie. We got Family K right there in the in the Billings house. So I just wanted to give her a shout out. Give her a shout out. So That's Tracy, good. you want to kick us off tonight? We got a little uh, recognition. You want to start with that? Absolutely. I uh, first of all would like to, and she's I'll see that Greta is on with us right now. But um, Greta Ruckman and I both completed the six month consistency challenge for the uh, Spark a Chain Reaction. And also Jenny Hinkle was a, a Spark Achiever in the month of December. So congratulations to those 
consistent performers and really consistency. That's the, you know, take one of one of the word, have a word for this year. And I think, you know, out of some of the choices that you might have, just being consistent in your business, consistent in your contacts and your, in your work ethic and in the time that you spend, the, the amount of people that you reach out, it all comes back to you if you're just consistently focused and consistently working your business and that you have a goal. You've got that goal, that star consultant, that 600. And just when you work around that, everything else just falls into place and it starts happening on its own. So congratulations to the Achievers in the First Class Unit. And Susan, I know you've got some Achievers too. We do. Um, I want to congratulate Diane Vaughn. Diane's got something special on her lap tonight too. I see her. Diane um, was an Achiever in December. That was her first time to spark a chain reaction. So we're really excited for Diane. Cheryl Prokop was her fourth time to earn the spark a chain reaction jewelry. And Nora and I, uh, we did it the six times. So we did our six month consistency. So that was really exciting. So, you know, however many pieces of jewelry, it's not about that. It's about, you know, that you set the goal and you did it. And I'm um, just so grateful for Mary Kay for the little trinkets and carrots uh, that they dangle and just recognizes for a job well done. So we had four winners. Um, I also, I don't know if I was on here to, uh, if, if we even recognize the stars because we, we didn't meet for a couple of weeks. So I just wanna, if I, if I recognize you before, we're gonna just do it again. Um, Nora Palmieri was a pearl as of December 15th. That was your 36th star. Now, Nora, have you been a star every time? Kinda think so with that many times on the National Court of Sales. So congratulations to Nora. Tracy Baker was a ruby. Woohoo! And Tracy, that was your 25th star. So congratulations, I think that's huge. And um, guys, I just gotta tell you, I was a Ruby and guess what number it was? 100. Wow. So I am old. <laughs> I've been working a long time, I got 100 stars. But that was kind of fun. So uh, congratulations girls on um, achieving that. Let's all, let's all be stars this quarter. Why not? That, that's awesome. And I was a Ruby star and Bretta was a Sapphire star. So congratulations. Absolutely. Congratulations. Okay, Tracy, I'm going to let you um, kick off with anything new. And why don't we talk about that? And then we want to know what your takeaways were from this weekend's Ignite 2021, which was phenomenal. So you want to talk about new products first and wrap up with that? Sure. Is that sure. Okay? That's going to be fun. Okay. Um, okay. How many of you got either saw the kind of advertisement for tonight and went, what? anti-aging revolutionary new product are they talking about and went to in touch or how many of you already saw it how many of you know and have read something about clinical solutions raise your hands keep your hand up if you're excited okay <laughs> Just a few. Tracy got two hands. double whammy <laughs> okay well get ready to get excited and uh, the first thing i'm going to tell you is that i'm not going to tell you everything um <laughs> because you really have to get on and study it first. And I love the fact that the company's kicking it off earlier than what we expected. And just so you've got an opportunity, first of all, to learn about it um, and also or order it early. And we'll tell you about that in just a second. So Susan, when did they, they told the directors about it in October? Maybe it had to be October? at least, because I've been using it Seems like forever, but yeah, at yeah. least a couple that months. September. We might have even gotten it in September. Yeah. So we've had, to, we've had to keep a secret for three months. A and you know secret. we're not very good at that. So this was a big achievement. <laughs> this was so hard. I just, oh my gosh. And it got harder the more I used it because I just wanted to talk about it. So, um, so what is it? Okay, it's called Clinical Solutions. This is the product. This is what it looks like. Except and yours will be full. It won't be half gone like Teresa's. <laughs> really, my, I am just like, I'm so, was so panicked that I'd run out before I'm able to order it, which will be the same. I'll just tell you right now, you're going to be able to order it on January the 26th, okay? Mark your um, calendar right now. <laughs> you normally wouldn't be able to order it until February the 10th. So January 26th, you'll be able to order. This is um, a high con concentration retinol serum, and it's, um, a point 
five, and that's exactly what they call it. The name of it is, uh, and isn't that funny? The name of it is not correct on the samplers that they sent us. Wait a minute, somebody else. I got her. Correct. You keep talking, I'll get her. Okay. okay. Anyway, it's a 0.5% um, concentration of pure retinol. And then there's some other botanicals added into it. And this is the first time that the company has come out with a pure retinol and this, this um, strong of a percentage. And one of the reasons for that, and the other product that goes with it is a facial milk, which is a calming, um, it's a, it's a um, concentration of fatty acids, like botanical acids and things that go on your face that really calm and soothe your face. Because if you don't know much about retinol, um, and again, I'm not gonna give you all the scientific stuff, you must read it. And honestly, I've read it probably four or five times. Uh, as I've been using it, I'll go back and reread something about it because this is really gonna revolutionize, I think our business in 2021. Because the first thing that you need to know is this is just not an anti-aging product. This is a product that people 20 and up can use to keep from aging, to keep the collagen alive in their skin. They consider retinol, dermatologists consider it like the gold standard in anti-aging, anti-wrinkling, firming, um, skin. I mean, it just is amazing. So they sent it to the directors in September, early October. We've been using it since then. They wanted us to test it out. Okay. The only thing that you need to know is that there is an eight week retinization process that you um, need to go through, even though I didn't go through the whole thing. I kind of hurried up my process. Um, but, okay. okay so if eight well, weeks is good, four weeks is even better, right? <laughs> right, I'm a bit of a rebel. But I did start out very slow using the product just once a week, mixing a little bit of the retinol with the uh, facial milk, just as they describe in the retinization process. And what they want you to do is gradually introduce your skin to it so that it doesn't, um, because it's a strong product. And I, I used it for two weeks, just doing what they said. And after that, I started using it a little more frequently, a little more frequently, found out that I really didn't have any of the, um, what they call the retinol uglies. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this over to, in a second, um, and which some people do, and that's what when you said ugly, what do you mean you're going to turn it over to me? That means you right. think you had some problems, right? <laughs> yes. You had some irritation and some flaking, and some. And did you find that you kept using it and it went away? How did how, I mean, because well, I, I, I don't, I don't usually time. read, I don't usually read, Teresa does, and so. I just opened it and started using it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my face is falling off. And Teresa goes, you have the retinoid uglies. I mean, there's actually a thing called that, right? The retinoid uglies, that yeah. when you start using a product with this high concentration of retinol that you do, your, your skin's like, what are you doing? And, what, yeah. and, and that's why you have to really follow those instructions and take it very slowly and I, I, would, I go, well, I've been using it every day. And Teresa goes, well, that's why you've got the retinoid uglies because you're not supposed to use it every day. And I just, I just thought every day would be really good. <laughs> Where I noticed it the most was right under my eyes. It was almost as if I had a, a little sunburn going on under here and the rest of my products would sting after using that. But other than that, I mean, other than that, <laughs> um, it really, I once I listened to the boss there and, she told me I was doing it too much. I've really had good luck. I mean, I feel like my skin it looks and feels great. And as your skin adjusts to it, I just found, I mean, I use it every night now. I use it, I mean, I say every night. I use it probably five to seven times a week. There, I may take a night off to use some other product that we have. I just want to use my moisture rene uh, renewing gel or something that I want, but I love this. I can tell a big difference in my skin. Um, when I wake up in the morning and I look at my skin, it just, uh, I, I mean, it, it, it looks flawless almost. I mean, yeah, there's a wrinkle or two here or there, but it, it, there is, we took pictures. We did before and after pictures. I don't know if I'll share mine, but um, just stay tuned about, about this. More information, but what I want you to know is that this is for everybody 20 and up, and it's for men, and it's for women. And that 
is huge and it's a it's sold as a set it's also sold separately oh my gosh and then you all probably some have, who knows how much it is who's looked it up and remembers how much the set is and the individual prices i meant to do that before i got on really it didn't really make you know because i don't i'm like how much is it isn't it like 70 okay. more than that yeah mm -hmm. 78 and something 100 and i uh, don't for the two pieces, but you can. <laughs> oh, it's 78 or 178. I don't know. No, it's not that much. Oh, anywhere in there between one and a thousand dollars. I don't know. Nowhere close to that. It really doesn't make any difference. You're going to want it. And so are your clients when they hear about it and, and see what this can do for their skin. So you won't need the, the facial milk once you've gone through the process. But what the company suggests is that it's going to be something that you're just going to want to have on hand anytime your skin needs soothing and calming and hydrating that this is going to be a product that people are going to want just for that and i love the facial milk and i use the facial milk a couple of times a day where i use just this at night one pump all over my face and i'm still i've been using it we think at least two months, maybe going on three months, and I still have plenty to get me through the end of January. I can tell there's Bob's. I found the price. Um, the, set, the set is 120. So the retinol 0. 0.5 is 78. The Calm and Restore Facial Milk is 50. So they save $8 when they buy it as the duo. Okay, so uh, 120. Oh, here's Jenny. Let me get her in here. Okay. So um, um, but read, go in there, read all the facts, look at all the flyers. They've got all kinds of support materials. So that's the main thing I'm going to say is do your homework on this product. And um, who has, anybody have a massive question that just, you just need answered before you go look up the answer that's probably in in touch? Well, Nora asked, when can we start sharing information about it? And I don't know. You, I don't know why you couldn't now if you want to take pre-orders for it. I don't remember reading anything that we needed to wait. Directors always have to wait before we tell everybody, but now that everybody knows, um, and you can see on my screen, there's some amazing support materials for this. So just like what you see here, I could print screen that and make it a picture to post onto my group page for my clients. And, eight weeks to train your skin eight weeks to amazing I, I love this and it's a dermo cosmetic system which is yeah. the new verbiage for it so just be a better student than i was you know now that i've been using it um don't just rely on teresa to tell you like like i always have you can study it um on your own um tracy says it's already out on facebook so i was almost going to say well just watch facebook because somebody's going to start yeah. posting it i'm going to open it up to consultants i think today right am i correct that they yes. just, yeah okay that's what i thought that's why i was um, asking because i hadn't oh. seen it on facebook yet so i was curious are we allowed to so i just posted so just wait okay yeah. <laughs> sorry, it's, already it's done <laughs> i hit post <laughs> thank you, you. very you good. good so i'm excited about it I am super excited. I just think here's a product now that everybody, I mean, men and and 20, women 20 and up, um, all ages really can utilize and get benefits from this. And it's from Mary Kay. So you gotta know it's amazing. And it really is. I've noticed a huge difference. Don't take this away from me. I was just going to panic that I would run out before the 26th of January. But we all get to order at the same time. And I think it's going to revolutionize your business this year. I really do. Okay. Let's move on about um, Ignite 2021. Wow, what a day, huh? Uh, raise your hand if you saw even any of it on Saturday by by cluing in okay with it was a face facebook um kind of live training all day long with some of the top best trainers in mary Kay, and i would like to know what your takeaways were from that um this was gosh i should have written this down before i got on here how how many directors were there even and how I've many written, I've, I've got uh, dina posted today what the top what the amount of people were hang on Oh man, Let's see if I can find it real fast. Keep on talking and then I'll pop in with it. In a second. I'm thinking they gave away like how many thousands of dollars in Amazon gift cards and, and all of that. So 
it was a really neat way for us to get together with Mary Kay's sisters and directors all over the country from the from our seats. Makes you kind of wonder, are we ever going to have real career conference again? I mean, I hope we do. And real seminars again, but this was sure a neat way for us to all be together. So um, if you would like to share anything that was an aha moment or some takeaway, some wonderful thing that you got from it, please unmute yourself. Just kind of raise your hand and we'll, we'll grab you and see what you'd like to share with us. Who wants to go first? Nora will go. Okay, Nora. I'll go. Um, I am just so grateful it's still there so we can go back and listen. I mean, I felt like I was at seminar trying to write notes as fast as you can. My head was spinning and the beauty of it is we can listen again very easily. So it was great. I actually went back and listened to Mary Catherine King. Um, her booking tips were just amazing. Um, but I got to say the one that left me totally speechless was the last one, Dr. LaRonda King. I, like I couldn't even type anything. I just sat there completely speechless. She just blew my mind, <laughs> seriously. And I can't even, like, I didn't even take notes. I, I started taking notes and I couldn't because I was just mesmerized listening to her. And I don't know if anybody else felt that way, but I just- why it's so good that it was recorded and you could just absorb it yes. without worrying about missing something. Yeah, it's good. I almost, I wish I could share it because like I want my daughter to hear it. I want I want specific people to hear what she said, but I don't know if they're shareable because they're probably private, right? Mm -hmm. In the private you, group. You can, I saved some, so I think you can share them because um, I the ones that I wanted to go back, like you were saying, I realized that I could save them and go back to them later because like you stated, my hand got to cramping up and I was like, no, not now, Arthur. We got to get this down. And I'm not even going to lie. I was on my way to Ikea and I was writing. You know, I was just a passenger. While you're driving? <laughs> no, I was a passenger. And I was like, are you okay back there? And I was like, mm hmm, mm hmm. But it was, I totally agree with you, Nora. She blew me out the, you know, blew yeah. me away. And then I was yeah. like, I didn't take notes, you know. Yeah. So she just preached there. right into your soul and, yes. and, and, and sure did. And grabbed hold. She did. It was the, one of the most powerful closing speeches, topics that I've ever seen. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, so definitely, and you can go watch, that's was the, it's closing session, session three, session four, but mm -hmm. go back and no matter who you are, if you didn't get in, if you didn't get in the group and you need help getting in the group, just make sure to reach out with us. All of it's recorded, watch it. It was very powerful. Very powerful. Who else? What else? Nor anything else that you wanted to say? No, I just, I marvel at, at how well it was organized. Yeah. I thought the order of speakers was perfect. It was. You know, the, the, it started with Pamela Shaw and then just ended with Dr. King. Like it just was very logically laid out. It was just amazing. I thought it was probably yeah. one of the best Mary Kay, non Mary Kay, Mary Kay events I've ever attended. I think the seminar committee needs to get some of these organizers as part of it because it was yeah. so well done. So yeah, absolutely. You. I saw Tracy, you had your hand up. You want to share? Yeah, I would love to share um, some of the notes that I have. I have just a couple that are high, that I highlighted. Um, two things from Pam Shaw. The first one she said was, when my what and my why are clear and in alignment, the how is never a question. Love that. That was totally powerful. Um, the other, one of the other things she said when she was talking was that she, um, she said, I don't want to miss the purpose of my life. Oh. And that one kind of just, ooh. Ooh, that, me. that does kind of get you right in the heart. And then one more from Heather Faring. This one, it just brings it all back again was, we get all excited about or nervous or worried about what we're supposed to do and heather said i teach women what i do every single morning and every single night and what she tells her clients she tells them that exactly that i'll teach you what i do every single morning and every single night and if it works for you i will take excellent care of you and if it doesn't that's okay too so it was just just reminding people that if these products aren't what you're expecting them to be at this moment, that's okay. Because when she tries something else 
and doesn't like it, she's going to remember how you made her feel. Mm. Good. good. Those are good things. Thanks, Trace. Yeah. Annie? Annie. Here, let me unmute you. Hang on. Okay. Unmute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Annie. Hang on. You're, you're muted. You're going to need to go she in. She has to do it. it. Yeah. Okay. Is it there now? You. Yeah, you're, you're good now. Here you now. Okay. The one thing that impressed me, two things, was a lot of the directors continued to talk about the mindset, about our mindset. And Dr. King, at the very end, she began hers was, and it was scripture, and it was uh, out of Romans, and it, as a man thinketh. And when I got home, I looked this up in my Bible, and it's a study Bible, and I just wanted to read you two sentences. It says, you are the master of your thoughts. You think by choice. You can think good or you can think evil. The choice is yours. And when, when I read that, I just fell apart. But I was, mem mem me say the word, I was just uh, blown away. And when she took the M off the impossible and just put possible up there, it was like, all things are possible through Christ, you know, and that was so, that was so cool. And it, to me, it was a very moving and it led me to dig deep into my soul about personal things, um, about why I want to do my business. Thank you. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie, for sharing. Cool. Who else? Cheryl, you said your hand was exhausted. Do you have anything to tell us? <laughs> Like your cute little glasses, too. <laughs> oh, thanks. They're like my blue blockers, you know. <laughs> They're like the cheapest thing. Um, I, uh, yeah, my hand was just going. I, I felt like I was at seminar. Like, I was just, I had my little, you know, remember this guy? Yes. <laughs> and this went out, and I was just going crazy. Um, I felt like every single person was better than the next. I don't know. I got something from everybody. Um, I really like the one, I've got to look. Um, Shelly Smith, what if for one year you believed in yourself? Mm. And I just thought like, how simple is that? You know, um, but yet how big <laughs> at the same time. That's cool. I'm writing that down. You know, we control our energy, go to the positive. And um, I enjoyed listening to her bookings from bookings, um, thoughts, and yeah. I like too how um, Pam Shaw, just from out of the gate, she goes, I was trying to think what to call this. Should I call it snap out of it? Should I call it, you know, get your act together? <laughs> she called it wake up. And I'm like, yep. And so I like that combined with what um, Tracy said. Um, I don't want to miss the purpose of my life. That's, that's powerful. Who else? I will share um, Leanne David. Mm. Uh, she's fabulous. She, I'm going to hit the first four points, but then the last one was one that really got me. She said, think bigger, 90 faces. Quit, quit thinking 30 faces a month. You know, she's doing parties of 10 and 15 and 20 people and it's just as easy it's not like you know we used to think we wanted six around the table you can do bigger parties so quit thinking small think bigger 90 faces a month 10 to 15 to, per party she said this whew, this was big for me find what works for you and only do that I am so bad about trying to figure out whatever, what works for everybody else. And so if they say, oh, do you want to do Messenger or Zoom or FaceTime or whatever? And I was like, okay, whatever. You don't have, no, pick one, focus on that. You know, if you're going to do Zoom, then do Zoom and tell your clients that Cheryl's raising her hand. She's agreeing with it. Same thought process. One thing and get good at that. And I loved that. Cheryl, did you? I, I'm just piggybacking off of that. That was definitely something that I fall pray to is I just spread myself way too thin and I try and move mountains when honestly I should just start with what I'm good at identifying what you're good at what avenue you're gonna take and just work that I, I mean Facebook is working don't go to Instagram don't start with, like just focus on one thing at a time exactly 
Exactly. Kind of block that, out that the noise, cool. all the other ideas. That yeah. Too fun. much. Um, she said, book your Kel Nellie Cardoza. You've got to listen to that to, to know who Nellie Cardoza is. But your biggest hindrance will you be your biggest blessing. Mm -hmm. The baby was just saying, uh, sell the sizzle of your hostess program. Sell the sizzle of your hostess program and book at least two to three from each party. And that's it. You guys, we make it so dang on hard. And if you're doing what she's talking about, and you're having parties with 15, 10 or 15 people, it's not going to be hard to get two or three bookings. I mean, she got to the point, and the reason she's recruiting so many new people under a unit is she had so many parties, she just had to start recruiting people to give them away to. And she would just say, why don't you just, you, you know, I had, we have got, so I've, I can't keep up with it. Hello. Okay. Hello. We make it too hard. Keep it simple. That was number four. And here's the big one that I love. She said, and we know, have a private Facebook customer page. I have one. I still don't work it like I know I should. And I just, I know that it is a jewel there that's shining and I need to really focus it. She said, treat it like a beauty blog or a fashion magazine. Post twice a day something fun or funny, something that gives value to the numbers so that everybody in there, whatever it is you're posting, if it's something motivational, something fun, something funny, something that engages. Um, she said, provide value even if they don't use Mary Kay. It's not about that. Teach, give away monthly for your top five contributors, play games, have fun, go to Pinterest for ideas on engagement, um, and do engagement posts, customer memes. So that, it was good. You need to just go listen. Just go listen. <laughs> now for people good. that didn't do it, are they just, are the recordings just there on that page? It's just called Ignite 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and remind me, because I haven't done it for, do I have to individually invite whoever wants to be on there? Yes, you do. And, okay. And I, I invited, I think everybody, you know, in my unit at one point, but if they didn't find the invitation, they may have to, they may have to go through and, you know, you may have an invitation, but just reach out to us. If you don't, can't figure out how to get in, go to Ignite 2021. If you can't enter the room, reach out to Susan or I. I'll make yeah. sure everybody on this call has definitely got it. I, I thought so, but if, if you didn't, Sarah, did you have it? Okay. I'll make sure that you do. Then you can watch the recordings at your, at your pace. And what else? You can just listen. If you just want to, you know, yeah. listen through your Bluetooth in your car or whatever, however it works for you. I did that with several of them towards the end because I had to leave a little bit early. So I just listened because, you know, it's just somebody talking. So it's fun to watch them and see their body language. But it's just audio that you can go to bed and listen to one every, every evening before you go to bed. Every single one of them will empower you, I, I guarantee. It was fabulous. Yeah, it says that this group has 36,000 members. I mean, oh, that right. just blows my mind. I know, I know. And I, it, it, when I was just thinking there was going to be some kind of a glitch or something. That many people all in one group on Facebook, it didn't. They didn't have any glitch at all. No. Nope. I just added you, Sarah. You just got there on there, so... I, I want to make one comment too. I love that Mary Kay corporate noticed and there was somebody there welcoming everybody in the beginning. I don't know if you saw the very beginning, but yeah. that was pretty impressive that well, they saw this that. happening and welcomed us in. So, yeah, I don't think they noticed. I'm sure that Dina and, and, um, Melita reached out to corporate and said, we're doing this. Right. Just yeah. You know that we're doing this. And if anybody wants to come participate with us, which they did. And yeah, totally had Mary Kay's blessing. It was beautiful. That was good. Okay. Anybody else? Diane, anybody want to chime in? <laughs> I liked watching, I liked watching my Eagles comment throughout. That was kind of fun too. Kind of watching the comments and I go, Oh, there's Nora. Oh, there's Annetta. There, you know, so it's kind of fun. You. Yeah, that was, that was fun too. I have a little something to close with, um, unless you've got anything else that you want to add, Susan. No, um, there is somebody on Instagram that I follow, and she's just kind of an influencer for direct sales. And it's called the No She He. I don't know what it is. He I figured that out. No Shame Sales Game is the hashtag. Go look for that on Instagram. But how, she, I think it's a, 
woman posts some really phenomenal things. And I just pulled something up that I just thought was really great since it's a new year and we're kicking it off. And it says, listen up, 2020 was the last year of your life that you let excuses keep you from reaching your goals. She said, number one, invest in your business. Number two, take it seriously. Number three, choose confidence. Number four, learn social media. Number five, show up consistently. And number six, treat it like a business and it'll pay you one. And I know you all have heard that before, but it is a new year. There are new things happening. We're all kind of on the same page of the book where we've made some major pivots. We're learning some new ways that we can reach out and touch people. And that's what we do. And we're good at it. And Mary Kay's good at it. And she's given us a vehicle that we can utilize to make a difference in people's lives. And that is our product line. So um, make 2021 your year. And, um, and like Annie said, you know, you could choose happy or you could choose sad and I choose happy and I'm happy you're all here tonight. I like that new year's resolution from Melinda Balling. I think you posted it or I posted it on my group. I even posted it to my customers that this year I resolved to treat myself with loving kindness Whew. to show up for me, practice self care and be my own best friend and to quit comparing myself to others and spend my time instead discovering and using my special gifts. Wow. That's quite a resolution. I think we can all, all strive to be our own best friend. So, and you've got us as your best friend too, on Tuesday nights and yeah. anything in between that you need us. So <laughs> you guys, thanks for joining us. I've missed you. It's so good to see your beautiful faces. Reach out if you need help in any way, but let's, let's blow it out of the water. Happy January. And I'm excited for clinical solutions. Do your homework. Yep. Study up so you Are can you answer ready? questions and sell lots of it. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.